I like the idea of having a unified app or website, whatever the format, where you can do anything you want in one place. China already has this with WeChat. You can exchange money and people basically live their lives on WeChat and it's quite useful. This is a more efficient money database. Anyone who thinks China can't manufacture is missing the big picture. Let me handicap the next two layers. Our frontier models are unquestionably world-class. Out of 1.4 million models, most of them are open source, and China is far ahead in open source. The reason open source is so important is that without it, startups can't thrive. You're not going to replace China. Nine out of the top 10 science and technology universities in the world are now in China. 50% of the world's AI researchers are Chinese. 70% of last year's AI patents were published by China. China has a natural indigenous demand for more workers. And there's no question that we have a shortage of workers. We all know that our industries would be larger, more vibrant, and more profitable if we simply had more workers. We're advancing our technology so quickly that no company at our scale has ever introduced new generations every year. At this point, we have to use every form of energy we can. Imagine a future where we can't rely on the power grid. We have to build behind the meter, and we obviously need our own power generation systems. Money is an information system for labor allocation. Energy is the real currency. If you can think of it, you can have it. It's safe to say that it's hard for a single human to make a spaceship. I cannot make a spaceship by myself. But with a collection of humans, we can. It would be impossible for me to master all the necessary areas of expertise in a single lifetime. Fundamentally, it's best to have a collection of humans to build a spaceship. We need to fuel this flywheel of funding our R&D so we continue to be the mightiest technology industry in the world. There is no question that we should try to accelerate nuclear power. We need energy growth, and we need it very, very soon. If you're stranded on a desert island with a quadrillion dollars, it's useless because there is no labor to allocate.